Ladies and gentlemen, if I can have your attention, we are the new smash singing sensation tandem of Footloose and Fancy Free. And then we we, we serenaded ourselves out with uh, Loggins and Bessina. How'd it go? How'd it go over? As horrible as you could possibly imagine. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad I can finally fucking retire. I'm, I'm sick of this gig. It's I'm terrible, terrible I'm, gig. I'm rooting for the new up-and-comers. We're going. Mm. Uh, Mishka Shabali Mishka. in the house. Ow. <laughs> I'd like to say for a limited time only, but he's staying for like weeks. Yeah. <laughs> Are you sick of me already? <laughs> like we're just rolling in. <laughs> Is it okay if I stay mm. from the 21st to the 7th? Sure. <laughs> I have nowhere else to go. <laughs> I, I, I don't, I, people were like, what are you doing down there? I was like, I'm living? I, I don't know. Freeloading? Scratching <laughs> out an existence. Good place to do it. It's, <laughs> Just back from the UK. Uh, malingering, right? Malingering. Uh, malingerer's paradise. We thought we were going to be out of town anyway, so we didn't care. But now, yeah, plans it, have changed. Yeah, aren't, aren't you the one crashing the party now? <laughs> Yeah, I'll be here. <laughs> You're going to be rotated. Blue room, guest house, rape trailer. I'm good with getting passed around. Yeah, you're fine with it. We know. <laughs> well, yeah, that's that, that. That's why we book you. <laughs> no complaints. Uh, community horse. So you, mm. you've been doing book tours, and your book is fucking fantastic. You haven't been on since I read your book, right? No. Uh, the title. I swear I'll make it up to you. Very good. My fans will drift off on the last two chapters where you get sober. <laughs> <laughs> but I really had no idea that you were that fucked up. Yeah, I. Uh, I, I mean, to fucking to maintain, you get good at keeping secrets. You know, I mean, you get good at like uh, living a double life and shit like that. But also, I mean, I. Uh, like we weren't hanging out a ton, you know. I mean, I would see you a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah. There was the, some the stuff. The stuff oh, about oh, me in the on. book. I went. Nah, that, you that's you not right. You didn't know there was a little bit of an issue. Well, we, were we were all drunk, tour. but it, like, <laughs> well, we were all drunk. But we weren't <laughs> trying to begging was, someone to kick us in the nuts. <laughs> but that's goofy, Brendan Walsh. <laughs> no, shit. he was. That, I think that was a high point. That was no. a high point <laughs> for me, the, like knowing how high you were. The level of drug abuse that you were doing throughout your life from your teen years yeah that i had no idea you just seemed like a goofy drunk to me you were one of us i didn't know you were smart <laughs> <laughs> i can i can i can pass right <laughs> you keep showing up here so <laughs> you're slipping i always, I always told him who writes your songs because you're too stupid to come up with lyrics this good. <laughs> high praise well Ch <laughs> chad is my uh ghost writer <laughs> <laughs> No, I assume that everybody had like the cough syrup thing where the smell of like a cherry cough drop makes you start to barf because you've like thrown up off cough syrup so many times. No, 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 not no. Over here. no, not nope. till I read your book. <laughs> I knew a lot of shit about you after I, that book. My sister put a, a cherry cough drop in when we were in the car and I had to fucking roll down all the windows. <laughs> she was like, what's wrong? I was like, oh. You could smell it from her mouth. Yeah, that yeah. Was it? Like my my th my throat is closing up right now just yeah. talking about that smell. <laughs> like I, I can't. Oh. I went into convulsions once. What kind of cough syrup were you drinking? Uh, I'll show you next time we're at Safeway <laughs> <laughs> Dollar Store. Whoa. I mean, it's worth it's worth doing once. I was, Chad. <laughs> when I was a teenager, we drank Robitussin before. Yeah. Yeah. Robo Raiders, yeah. Robo Trippin, yeah. Robo Trippin. Yeah. Robo, uh, my but, brother in the Marine Corps. But they even called then, themselves I, the Robo Raiders. <laughs> even then, I didn't understand. That that because my friends would steal the Robitussin and then we would drink it. And I was like, if we're just stealing it, can't we just steal booze? I don't understand what? why we're stealing cough syrup. I mean, what's... It's, it, I mean, it's a different high completely. It's, uh, I mean, we had it down to, you know, you get a, like a four ounce bottle of the maximum strength, which was the least amount of stuff you had to drink. Um, you know, to get off. And he was I, watching his weight. Uh, yeah. I How think many calories I was. Uh, and four check the hours calories on that, Jimbo. <laughs> the, the Weight Watchers. No, I'm it's no, just that you have to choke down less of that fucking disgusting yeah. liquid. Um, but I think I drank like twelve ounces the night that I went into convulsions. And, yeah. It's like a nodding, right? 
Uh, well, it's, I mean, I would compare it to like an opiate high or like mushrooms, you know, so it's too very, oh, wow. yeah, I mean, it's really, oh, are you guys going to fucking go and do it now? I'm, I'm, I'm going to talk to you out. Not straight. at this age, but yeah, <laughs> earlier in life, probably. You missed your window. There's probably a lot of listeners that are racing out to buy <laughs> Robitussin oh, right now. <laughs> well, don't do it. But if you do, it's four it's fluid ounces of the maximum strength, the generic. Don't pay for the, the brand name. Because no. Uh, it's all, who was CBS it? CBS brand. Or put so it under your pants. Someone was here that <laughs> read your easier. book uh, and said that he's, I read the book. I think it was Alex who said, I read the book and you can tell he's a musician because he writes so poetically that there's times I had to put, put the book down and go, the phraseology which is, I had to just stop and drink it in. Fucking good writer, sir. I, I uh, just made that thank comment you. to Tracy because I just finished Hennigan's book and I'm on yours and I'm at the point where you're going to college early. Yeah. So it's pretty early on. It's first yeah, three chapters. I think that's where I am. Yeah. And I, I, did, I, have to, I have to tell you, I would tell you this off, off mic, but, uh, you know, Doug brings it up. It's, uh, it's wonderfully phrased. I mean, there's lyrical. Very, very. For the record, they're never this nice to me off the air. Chaley just pins me against the wall and fucking tears a strip you, off me later. You're still night. fucking making all the mistakes, Mishka. <laughs> oh, I still. That I is true. I've I don't, seen it. I think like, the guy uh, that writes your songs wrote your book. <laughs> <laughs> It's like congratulations it's like for the finding inverse someone. of Goodwill Hunting. Oh, okay. shit! Whoa. Joby! Things just got weird around here! Joby! I thought you guys knew that was going to happen and no didn't tell idea. me. No idea. Joby likes to make an entrance and ruin ah. Mishka Shabali's praise. The usurper. You want to you want to stop and get into the mic up or uh, no? Just she'll make him a drink. He'll right. he'll drift in. He needs to settle in. But uh, fucking uh, Joby's here. Does that mean your mother's dead? <laughs> let's get a let's get an update. Not let's get yet. an update right. on that. We'll, we'll get him a drink. He'll come in. Joby will be here in a minute. I'm still back winning. to you. Joby. Have you read Mishka's book? Uh, a portion. A portion. He read the back cover. That's oh, that's a portion. <laughs> <laughs> have you got? Have you got any like serious reviews? Yeah, I um the fuck you then. <laughs> <laughs> I got dick. Wait, the did, uh, did the, you promote your book on Howard Stern this week? Well, you, <laughs> it doesn't matter because you probably sold ten times the amount of fucking copies that I have. But I, I got Los Angeles Review of Books um today. Nice, and uh, I got Publishers Weekly. The Guardian did a thing. Oh, oh nice. Oh. Nice. There you go. I, I, I still haven't sold dick, but yeah. Well, you will after this podcast. Mishka Shibali. <laughs> I swear I'll make it up to you. <laughs> Chad, we should have had you do the fucking audiobook. <laughs> <laughs> He'd do it I, now. I, Chad. I, 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 I enjoy doing audiobooks for a number of reasons, sir. So uh, <laughs> I would be glad to do that. Your eyes got all twitchy. Like, <laughs> like Ch Chad Bridge saved on the River me. Kwai. We're, we're, you know what? And oh, fuck. Mishka, we have to get that. We'll do that separately. No, no. But we've, uh, we've had a bunch of people that are in my book do uh that have come in are you so, gonna have me do the four words where i'm in there yes <laughs> you know why because someone wrote me and said the part where that one guy that opened for you at the milestone at the end of the book made me cry so yes a, a lot of people that are have been in the book including my a 13 year old best friend juvenile delinquent came down here so we're doing director's commentary for the audio book where i'll just read it and then we talk about it podcast style. Oh, awesome. Because you, you got that scene totally wrong. Oh. <laughs> it's in a complete That's wrong setting. So the the book perfect. opens with, hey, I'm a drunk. I probably have a lot of this shit wrong. And that's exactly why we're doing this. Yeah. We did four days straight here with a guy. I from, can't believe you did that in four days. And it was Doug and Chad. Actually, wait, I did mine in four days by myself. So fuck both you guys. <laughs> that's all right. Uh, yeah, it, it would have been two with Chad. It was fucking we went brutal. back and forth. Chad, Chad can read. By the end, I had like a hemorrhoid in my throat that like, every time I swallowed, it would like go down and then come back up. Oh, you should listen to this yeah. recent podcast we just did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't believe I, I missed the. I don't recommend uh, that to anybody. <laughs> I can't believe I missed the uh, pants pooping one. 
I had a couple good. It'll stories. happen again. Uh, yeah. Don't worry about so, it. So, <laughs> someone did no. point out that Chaley already told that story, but you know what? It's a good fucking Hold on a second. story. Listen, the, the reason we did that was because we had Patty here, and that was what Doug was getting to. Was after we did the four days of recording, then Doug has now booked all these people, you included, now being here to say this is how you got it wrong in the book, and we're including that in the Audible broadcast. I, oh, I, awesome. I hope I haven't tilted the deck on what patty's patty is the girl if you read the book that said uh she saw my show and found me completely disgusting and it cuts to later on when i get booked back there fucking her in the ass with her head out the window in a hotel (laughs) and she had I'm, I'll save it for the audio book, but she had the most wonderful. Uh, uh, no, that's not how it happened. But when you hear her take, you're like, really? That was. That's how I got it wrong. <laughs> you were the one with uh, your head out the window. No, no. <laughs> but it, it, it's de- it, 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 it. save it for the audio book. <laughs> so you can see it, how weird that would get. Like, yeah, like having someone explain how you got it wrong, but Doug's the one who wrote it. But we're all drunk. So <laughs> yeah. I, I, yeah. At some point, well, we, I, I, we I will like break. Do you creep- have your book with you? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I have like a creepy good memory for a lot of that shit, you know, which is weird that there was, you know, there's I remember my my sister's like uh, horseback riding teacher and her, her horseback riding teacher's mother. And my sister doesn't remember that. I had hot teachers, you know? too. So. Yeah, yeah, that's important. That's how you remember the, uh, yeah. the, the the part about me. I remember going no, 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 no. So <laughs> w- we will break at some point during this. Grab your book, and I'll find that part. Yeah. Oh well, wait, so I got, I got the part about you wrong. Yeah. Well, you, you made it sound like I didn't book you because you were a drunk. Well, that was well, my. Was just, I think that was my perception at the time, but it well, may have just well, been like we'll, paranoia. We'll do or exactly what All we right. did on our audio book. Yeah. I'll read what you wrote and then okay. tell you what I remember. Uh, Fact I you, checking. I think you both prefaced your book with "I'm fucking yeah, <laughs> my memory's yeah. fucked yeah. and Pretty I'm gonna fuck." Same, this yeah. is just how I remember it. it. Doesn't mean it's accurate. The, the, the uh, <clears throat> and I, I'm, I'm saying this. You did a lot of drugs, and drugs are better than alcohol when it comes to remembering shit. If you were doing coke that night, if you were doing fucking hallucinogens, yeah, you're going to have a way better memory than if you're just drinking cough medicine. So yeah. I, it's, I, I, I still cough, have cough graphic, like detailed <laughs> memories of doing mushrooms where I should remember. No, no I was on mushrooms. Oh, I remember oh. a lot. That's that's a public service announcement from Doug Stanley. <laughs> Drugs are better than alcohol. Why? Well, I, I feel like I was mostly just a was, uh, with the exception of the cough syrup. I was mostly just a drunk until like the year before I met you. Like 2007 is when I really started doing a lot of pills and shit. Um, uh, and before that, I was just a fucking just a pure drunk. Well, it, it, again, I don't have instant recall of your book but it seemed like you were doing a lot of crazy shit from the yeah. time you were a teenager and fucking cough syrup is not a normal uh, i never really get into drugs you were drinking fucking robitussin if you're listening to the uh, podcast and you want doug to drink the robitussin please Please oh tweet God. Doug. Let's oh, go. We'll no. get a Kickstarter going for. Uh, I have a, I, I have a friend Doug in rehab syrup. right now that I've been tweeting. I'm trying to keep her spirits up, and uh, and as this weekend has gone on, I go, hey, can you scooch over to make room for two more? Because Bingo and I, after this weekend in New York City. She took me seriously. She's like, no, we can make room for you. No noise. It's <laughs> kidding, but not really. Like I'm not going to rehab, but I but should. should. <laughs> <laughs> Nurse Betty is here. Betty is also someone we have to get on the audio book. Uh, Becker's coming in. We got to get him. He's in the book. We got uh, uh, well, Mishka, Betty, Bingo, both oh, first chapter. We need to find out. So, Betty, what we're doing for the audio book is uh, we've already read the actual words, poorly me, <laughs> Chad Shank. We went back and forth. We went to, 
I'd just stutter and stumble and they go, fuck Chad, you do the next chapter. But the people that are in the book, so you will be in the book. I'll read what you know is in the book, and then we stop and do director's commentary of what you remember. Mishka, he's in there for like one fucking sentence, and he's already telling me I'm wrong. <laughs> <laughs> so, and so, you did the same though. By the in, way, in the next three, <laughs> in the next three weeks, we will uh, have you bingo anyone who is around for that time that we can make the audio book weird and fun so so we can sell the same book twice really <laughs> different product absolutely we're, we're just going to go in and undermine everything that you said i just found God. out from hennigan we're gonna we're actually in negotiations i don't want to say too much but uh eight track coming up Eight track tape. <laughs> we uh, we will be selling the players at DougStandup.com. <laughs> Cutting edge technology. Watch, watch the video on Betamax. <laughs> Books on Braille. <laughs> you can have it on Abacus. Uh, mm. So so uh, Betty just showed up. Joby just showed up. But Mishka, your book. You've been doing like actual book tours. I want to stop before I forget. Hudson fucking news. They're in every goddamn airport in the fucking world. Oh yeah, they monopolize it. Every bookstore. Yeah, in yeah, an they're airport like the Cinnabon of uh, bookstores. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and it's, candy and their water. Their Twitter is uh, at Hudson underscore news. So bust their balls because. You know my crazy shit. I take crazy flights just to get miles. I yeah. could do these book signings everywhere, and they, they don't carry my book. Uh, I, I, I could just fly. I, I would do a Guinness Book world record longest flight without leaving an airport and just hit every one of their, I think, 93 bookstores they have. And I, I don't think they believe me. So <clears throat> you've been doing shit. You've been going out and just doing book signings. Do people well, show up? No, I've I've done I've done a couple I've done a couple of book signings. But when I was like putting this tour together, it was my understanding that I would be doing like book signings early and then shows later because you don't get paid anything for the book signings, yeah. and I got to live. And then uh, like all the readings never came through. I mean, I think that like you know there were always. You know, I, I did one in uh, I did one in upstate New York. Uh, yeah, I did one in Minneapolis. I did one in uh, in Wyoming. I did one in upstate New York. I did one in New York City. I did one in Colorado. But mostly, I, I, like, I, I got to back up to the Wyoming one because that has <laughs> to be a good story. Wyoming? No, Wisconsin. I always get those fucking uh, things. No, uh, that's what? so different. <laughs> so different. I was Spoken like, like a true I like, Canadian. There, there is, I, no. I rescind my Idaho, star comments. Iowa. <laughs> <laughs> It's like fucking states and shit, you know. <laughs> Fuck geography. Like you never confuse those states, Chad. I, I don't Wyoming even think about Wisconsin. those states. Never. <laughs> I have no cause to think about either of those states. <laughs> you know the W states. I don't follow sports teams and shit. <clears throat> um. Yeah. So so uh, Wisconsin. Anyway, so you show up at these book signings. I only had to do two, but there was L.A. and New York, so I knew yeah. people would show up. You're doing shit in Wyoming, so Wyoming Wisconsin. slash Wisconsin, uh, Milwaukee, Wyoming, Viroqua, Wisconsin. <laughs> no. I, I, oh yeah. wow! I uh, yeah, there was uh, shout out to the fucking killer termites. Every single show that I did, I did uh, fifty shows in sixty days in three different countries. Killer termites at every single show. Fucking love them. You know termites. what? July third. Killer Termites Day was announced at City Council last night, Betty. Yes. Yeah, Justin Johnson and Gene Connors pushed that through. Oh, that's awesome. Yes, so Sunday baseball, July 3rd. Come on down. Doubleheader. We're going to have a monster July 4th weekend here. Wait, you're not inviting it. The no. random people to July yes, 4th I weekend. Yes, I am. <laughs> to baseball. Okay. To baseball. okay. Only I was, to baseball. I was just clarifying because I have to be here too. It's a good week. <laughs> of course. Of course our security will be here. The, the yeah. only gap in the security here is Doug. <laughs> it's like <laughs> everybody, uh, everybody else is like, no, no fucking weirdos. And I, Doug's like, yeah, come on. The weirder the better. I've been trying to point that out for a long time, and it's I've like, never been able to put it the, that succinctly. Is the, the chain only, of command yeah, here the is weak link flawed. is the boss. <laughs> yeah. 
pay it downward. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I have a tendency at baseball to get drunk and then, uh, yeah, sure, everyone at the baseball and, game and can come over. Yes, and that is not valid. <laughs> that's a, uh, at least it's not a real bad. offer. Well, if you're standing near Doug when he bad, says it. <laughs> but there's usually not a lot of people who show up to the baseball game that we don't yeah. know. So I mean, yeah, you have to sit. Okay. Through, you have to sit through baseball, which is tough. No. <laughs> We're not fans. We're fans like, of heckling. I feel there's, like Chad has to read the fine print every time Doug issues an there's, invite. There's been some people who've shown up at the baseball game and then not even tried to come back to the fun house afterwards. I've, and then you I've, go, "What did I do wrong at baseball?" No, I've noticed <laughs> those people, and I'm like, "Those are the ones we probably want to come over yeah. after the yeah. baseball those game, are, but they don't want to force themselves." Michigan over. knows those people. Though, like after the show, there's always the guy that's punching you in the chest, going, <laughs> oh, "I read your book, man." You owe me. I spent 16 bucks on your book. You owe me. And he gets you in a headlock. And then there's hack. really nice people. <laughs> <laughs> hack on it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then all the cool people go, I don't want to be that guy. And they walk out. And you go, oh, I wish I could have met that there, guy. <laughs> there, was this, there was this incredibly cute uh, tattoo artist when I was in Guildford. What was his name? Uh, I was going there. <laughs> I stopped you. myself though. Uh, fuck you, man. Well, it was dumb, but I, I'm allowed to say <laughs> it's a sad dumb shit, story man. anyway, and now, now it's just sadder. Um, no, but there's because you have to lie. Well, no, because <laughs> he's gonna hear this. <laughs> no, because I and I have two waves of weirdos. I have the I have the fucking the killer termites and the fucking black hoodies. The like you know still living in their mom's basements, and then I have the weird silver freaks. T-shirt. Yeah, the weird sober freaks who want to talk to me about running and sobriety and stuff like that. And then behind those two walls of unfuckability, there's like the r- super cute tattoo you artist never. who is like... First of all, Mishka Shibali, you know when you see a, a fairly hot female comedian that bitches about, I can't get a date, and you're like... Anyone would fuck, fuck you. you in any bar anywhere. <laughs> Mishka Shibali is the male version of that. This guy was getting so much pussy on the road. You go, oh, I think he fired me because I was a drunk. No, because you got all the pussy would be a better answer. I believe, that, I believe there were times where it's like, yeah, what time are we leaving tomorrow, Shaley? I'll meet you there. It was a thing where like he I, would I, meet I up with I us. I don't remember that. I'm sure you do. Mishka smells that at all. more like pussy right now than you do. <laughs> I, uh, and you have blood on your shirt. And, and, I'm <laughs> soaking in it. And you, you're wearing pussy blood. That's, a, that, that's from an old podcast, even though we, we're still wearing the same shirt. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, you would get... Wow, you had you had a problem with some. We might have talked about this on a podcast, and yeah, I think, I think we dealt, yeah, dealt we with that dealt already. With that. Yeah. Oh, uh, anyway, th- I think you're hitting a spot. <laughs> don't oh. act like you don't still get all the pussy you could possibly handle all the time. Okay, this is this is the thing: is that uh, <laughs> I can say check the back of his shirt for blood, really quick. <laughs> <laughs> I can say that nothing happens on Wait. the road. And that would be inaccurate. But if I say that I get tons of pussy on the road, that will quickly be inaccurate. So I'm going to go with my official story of nothing happening on the road. And no one's buying it. be inaccurate in my favor. That's like Amy Schumer going, oh, I can't get laid. uh, Hollywood calls me fat. Well, you're not fat. fat. (laughs) You're not fat anywhere in the real world. New York and L.A., you're pudgy at best. In the real world, everyone's fucking you. So yes, don't Amy Schumer me on my own podcast. You guys saw the joke. <laughs> you guys saw that Joby just walked in, right? We should check in with Joby. Joby, <laughs> Joby Speaking actually has pussy. a problem getting pussy, and he shouldn't because he's better looking than you. He's actually a better, better he human can, being as but he's, well. <laughs> he's choosier. <laughs> he doesn't have a lot to say to the ladies because they're annoying. You, <laughs> you're, you're dumb. My, my, <laughs> I'm, I'm batting. I have a perfect record in Bisbee. I have, uh, I'm on, I have, uh, you know, I'm fucking clean as the driven snow in Bisbee. I know how small it is here. You, I can't say her name. I was going to say, you haven't fucked her. <laughs> <laughs> nope. You're gonna, I, know, I know who you're talking about. Everybody and knows. Definitely haven't. Nope. <laughs> 
let's stay tuned till a later podcast. Yeah. She's gonna be here for a little bit. By the way, by the way, he'll be here till the seventh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, should we put? We should put money on that. No. Oh. He's on the sober break. though. She'll on tell. Sober. Oh, 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 she'll tell. Oh, she'll tell. I met a friend of hers in Safeway who went, oh, yeah, turns out, I, I don't know if I brought this, let me phrase this carefully, but another girl that fucked a friend of ours who also fucked this girl said, oh, I ran into so-and-so, guess we don't have AIDS. <laughs> Because the one girl got tested after she found out that the same guy had fucked around the other girl. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's how you tell in Bisbee if you have AIDS. Somebody else that you fucked gets a test. I, I was going to say it's a Hedberg yeah. joke. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. The roundabout, the roundabout, the yeah. roundabout Hedberg joke. Oh, tell, I remember tell the joke. That tell now. the joke, Taylor. I'm not going to do it right. It's uh, it's it's like uh, uh, you would go down and do an AIDS test, but you do the other one, the roundabout one. You ask your friend if you know anyone who's got AIDS, and they say no, and you go, Whoof. "Well, you know, you me. don't know me. You know, you know me. <laughs> that's right." <laughs> Anyway, fuck who, uh, fuck whoever you like in town. We're not, you know what? Let's not even tell them who it is. Mishka, AIDS no, free. I know who by it the is. Way. I know. Oh, it you is. know who it is. Uh, yeah, I also. Yeah, I, I have. <laughs> He's avoided my, that one a few times that's already. That's my. Uh, that's my goal while I'm in town. I'm here to get AIDS. To, to get AIDS. Cigarettes. Yes. Who has cigarettes? <clears throat> you do. All right. Uh, so uh, book signings in uh, Wyoming or China? You don't know where the fuck you are. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I. Uh, <laughs> I did one in uh, I did one in London. It's fun. I mean, I like. Uh, Do you I actually read. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I read the uh, I read the most depressing uh, passage in the book, and it's it's good because there's a couple of laugh lines before I get into the like you will get raped part, and then everybody I just watch everybody fold up inside themselves. It's like when when uh, you made me play when we're at the fun house. It's packed, and you made me play. I can't remember when you were mine, and everybody's like on mushrooms, and I just watched people fold up inside themselves, and like, oh yeah, think about your life for the rest of the evening. Like, see if that bums you I out. I invite a little bit. you. Did you see that tweet today? Someone said because uh, you tweeted about <laughs> yeah. your lost luggage, and my favorite song of yours is boxes and boxes, boxes of, of unlabeled crap. If I die, will they ever get unpacked? Why? All three of us are singing it poorly when Mishka's in here is yeah. silent. I, no, I became was, aware of that within three words, and I just shut up. It was good. Yeah, you guys were like uh, blindfolded children around a pinata, like just <laughs> swinging wildly. Yeah. <laughs> we end with hitting each other in the face. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, so, so mm -hmm. you lost your luggage, which did not show up today. Yeah, I figure it'll come in tomorrow. So they lo so someone tweeted that line bags and bags of unlabeled crap if he doesn't show up will they not get a was, yeah. someone was uh, deep cuts Paying on attention. the uh, yeah. yeah on the uh, podcast and to be like fair that. i've never seen mishka wear anything different every time i've been here <laughs> for days on end so i don't think it matters that his no. luggage is lost yeah what what does he own yeah where do you live? What, are you going to change into some why different I... cut-off pants? <laughs> <laughs> just, just for the record, I'm getting torn down by Chad Shank on my, my fashion sense That's, here. Our, well, uh, yeah. our resident... Uh, <laughs> I don't have any ground to stand on. I mean, fire back. But... <laughs> he, he does have laces on his shoes, Chad. <laughs> I need to get 112 the 112 degrees. I wore flip flops. <laughs> Fuck you guys. <laughs> the backwards baseball hat. The <laughs> bro bros gone wild. <laughs> Have you ever seen me with my hat on forwards? You know why I wear it backwards. <laughs> <laughs> That's quite that's a change. That's kind of terrifying. That's like when not Clark the, Kent turns into Superman, but the reverse. It's not you know. the yeah. same image. It was like uh, over the top. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you turn your truck's engine well, off. Without a hat. It's all bad. I told you. I've said before. <laughs> Two you, options are bad you, and yeah. worse. <laughs> you know what it's like to recognize how ugly you are and try to grow facial hair to cover it up and then realize you grow horrible facial hair? It's a fucking bad cycle all the way around. Yeah, some of us can't hide ugly. <laughs> <laughs> and Mishka ain't one. So, so you go to these book signings, and yeah. you s just scope it out for chicks. Hold on a second. You said you were doing a book signing and a show that night. So uh, 
Oh yeah, I mean, a couple of times I've done that. I'll go and do the book signing early. So and, that and wasn't like, all of them. Shit, okay. No, no, that was the plan, but it never, you know, yeah. I, I couldn't make do it you come together. you know that you're doing a, a you're, you're, you're leading me in a Q&A for a book signing here in Bisbee on the Friday before 4th of July at the Royale? Yeah, yeah, I, I'm supposed to do Brian Hennigan, right? I brought my yeah. uh, Tam O'Shanter. My sheep is in the bag that, uh, <laughs> <laughs> my pointy little shoes, my wee pot of gold. <laughs> My orange horseshoes, purple clovers. Gonna, gonna uh, ripping the guy who ain't here. Me lucky charms. <laughs> You'd never say that to his wee face. <laughs> Probably he would. Yeah, he would. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, we have to do that. That's on oh, when? We, we, we Saturday? always have to plug uh, the Bisbee Bookstore. In the, Bisbee uh, Book and Music. Bisbee, At, bam. Yes, the bam. Bisbee yeah. Book and Music in the convention center has autographed copies of the book. If you're coming down for Killer Termites Day, official July 3rd for the baseball, stop in the convention center and get my book autographed. And uh, they're, they're, they're sponsoring the book signing at the Bisbee Royale on the Friday, which I think is the first Whatever the Friday is before Fourth uh, of July week, it's uh, July first. I yes. think it's uh, oh, which I is Canada Day. PM. Maybe I should come in the National Guard. Not garb familiar of my with people. that. Oh Not shit, familiar. Canada Day. Not That's familiar. probably the day that Kenny announces that as a mayoral candidate, he's bringing a Canadian football team to Bisbee as a professional sports team. Can I get a uh, some like ambassador status or something? Probably. Okay. Good. If we got Killer Termites Day done, we can probably get you ambassador. There's a form, I'm sure. At, the <laughs> at DougStanhope.com, an we'll online form. For <laughs> Leadership in Bisbee is vacant. The city manager mm. just left. We can get away with whatever we want now. Oh, but we're going to get hammered with him tomorrow night. We're going to give him a good send-off. Is he coming here? Yeah. Is he going on some like diplomatic trip to? No, he's getting the uh, fuck out of this stupid town. (laughs) Done. Dumbass mayor ran him out of town. The only, the only (laughs) decent city manager we've had, and one of three black people in town. Your 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 sister city in in the the French Alps. I love I love that Mishka thinks that Bisbee city count city manager is some stepping stone to some international (laughs) man of intrigue. What's the uh, what's the the council that Iron Man is part of? Legion of Doom or Legion, something. Yeah, there you go. No, that's not it. We, we, none of us know. No. no. Guardians of the, Nerds no. of yeah. the Ecuador. Ring of, I don't know. Yeah. Something of the galaxy. <laughs> Tweet <laughs> at Avengers. The Avengers. Avengers. There we go. Him exactly. Joby yeah. had it. Joby had it. Joby has no yeah. mic, but he has all the answers. I try yeah. to get you a mic. Isn't that the rub? And isn't it ironic? Don't, don't you, you think? think? <laughs> Whenever you quote another song, all you do is just devalue any nice thing you've ever said about my music. You're like, oh, yeah, I know, I know all the great artists like Mishka Shabali, Alanis Morissette, and Counting Crows. Wait, whoa, whoa. <laughs> What's wrong with the Counting Crows? Uh, yeah. Counting Crows. I'm, I, I'm Alanis Morissette's still good. in the game, my friend. <laughs> all right. All right. Isn't you know she what? a fellow Canadian? Hey, when yes. I, uh, what are you doing? Well, what's what's his name? What's this guy with the dreadlocks from Counting Crows? Uh, Adam, Adam, Adam Durst. Adam Durst. Yeah, no, it's when Fred he talks Durst. about doing Durst. heroin, oh. he's still doing it. Oh, I mixed Durst. them up. I don't know. <laughs> They're the oh, same geez. guy, basically. Yeah. Did you just call him Adam Durst? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, if I if I could just get hate mail from the Counting Crows, I would be so happy. <laughs> oh my god. So Look, Counting Crows just acknowledge. You'd me. rip down everything on the walls in the funhouse and put Durst. that letter up. Yeah. Cease and desist. Yeah, he doesn't jog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all his heroin songs are. Uh, He's still doing it. I don't know. I shouldn't say that. With this plague of lawsuits going around, I shouldn't say. Oh, they're giving you shit. Just for, kidding. You, it's just your you, opinion. Are you do you have with a- Raya? There's this new dating app that's just for famous people, and it exists, which means we need to find a way to fucking get on it. And well, Adam Duritz is on it. Hey, I got an idea. Let's get famous. Let's <laughs> <laughs> The first, I think, Step only is in the Wait, name. Wait, I thought that's what we were doing here. <laughs> one of us here is Twitter verified, and I think that's all you need. <laughs> only one of us? Are you not yeah, Twitter verified? I am not. Fatty. You're not? No, man. I'm Wait a minute. If you, thought, if you thought Chad was, did you think 
Doug wasn't? No, I was talking about Chad, <laughs> getting Chad on this dating thing. Oh, I thought you said like, oh, <laughs> no. one of us is. No, I don't Chad. I don't Speaking of, it. hang on, I got to back up and then we'll take a break. But your wife is coming with pizza. Where was she? Uh, was she in fucking Senoida or something? Because well, I preheated the oven well, well, I and knew it's that already was, 114 degrees. You, and you, now the oven's been going for an hour. You definitely prematurely preheated the oven, but it's 8.08 and I got a text from her at 8.05 saying, I have four pizzas. Do you need anything? Anything else? So I would assume it would be soon. All the right. oven is very well preheated, right. though. It's I mean, warm. So That's a non-answer. Sure preheat you later. All right, I, 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 I want to take a quick break so you can grab that book. Yeah. I, I, I you know I, what? We'll get your book too. We'll do a uh, drunk fact check. Yeah, we'll I'm gonna write after. a book real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Get everything wrong, and then everyone can dispute you. Joby's got the saddest book ever already in his head. We'll get to Joby. <laughs> we'll get to Mishka, where I can point out some fallacies in his book. Fallacies? Is that the Factual right inaccuracies. Yes. Is that yes. a fallacy? Uh, Smart fuck. I don't, I, 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 no, I think it's, I think it's not We'll quite. look it up during all the break. Right. All right. All right. No, we'll, we won't. Uh, we'll, no, we won't at all. <laughs> All right, we'll we'll be right back after uh, you listen to some shit we pre-recorded. Uh. Hey, this is Mishka Shabali, Doug Stanhope's favorite coattail rider. I'll be out on the road with Christine Levine, one of Doug's favorite comedians, October fifth until October eighteenth. Uh, she will be telling jokes, and I will be talking in between songs. Whether you come out or not, you'll regret it. Details and dates at mishkashabali.com Goodbye, Chaley. Boxes and boxes of unlabeled crap If I die now will they ever get unpacked Boxes and boxes of I have... <laughs> Now we're going. I have no chance of taking over first place yes, at this do. point from Carlos we're Valencia. We're at the half point of the year. Do we you need to see do, uh, the points Carlos Valencia has up? We if need to I do uh, code every, red on Carlos. Yeah, if I got every hit I needed, I'm a, I am lost second place to Lucy. Lucy St. Lucy, John. Yeah. Lucy is tearing it up. Yeah. So. Fucking I got uh, Bernie Worrell is about to fucking die, and I'll pull back into second place, no problem. I'm not worried about that. I'm not even fighting for first oh, anymore. Uh, and I, I, Joby mm. called in on a podcast I did, uh, and I go, all right, who's got more picks, you or me? And I, I think he beat me by one. Yeah. Uh, for what? Celebrity death pool. I mean, uh, who, well, who, I know who, that, but I mean, it's Artie what? Lang's podcast. Yeah, it was Artie Lang's, and they were like, "Who's?" So uh, I called again. This is one of these memories oh, I'm okay. just remembering oh, okay. now during the podcast. So Artie's uh, guys called me up from the studio to patch me in to the podcast to see how many who has more people, me, you, or Ralphie May. <laughs> and Ralphie was a distant third, I think. No, Ralphie was only one point below you. Oh. Artie was the the winner of all three by a long shot. All right. So, you know, they had yeah he had he had quite a few more. Lindsay Lohan was not on the podcast. <laughs> Thank God, yeah. surprise! Is she still number one mm-hmm. site wide? No, it's. Uh, I think right now it's. Uh, You've got like uh, George H. W. Bush, and you've got yeah. you know Muhammad Ali was up there, but he died. He was like you know he had yeah. hundreds of picks and. Uh, you know, so Lohan is down on the list. Yeah, she Low hanging really been fruit. In the news at all? Well, people are are actually doing research now and not taking the obvious shots. And yeah, that would explain Carlos Valencia's five hundred something points. Yeah, the fucking uh, former uh, parliamentary member of the Philippines. He's doing those, a lot of research. Those guys won't even get approved jokes. now. <laughs> yes. Yeah. All right. Somebody yeah. had to take that. All right, yeah, but Gordon right. Downey was like that's the big one of last trade round was Gordon Downey. So I, I mean, got and I uh, Amar I can't pronounce his last name Suliev. Tell the story he was of this guy. MMA guy. He's only forty now. He left the MMA. He fought Chuck Liddell. He fought a bunch of people. Then he went into being a hitman in the Russian mafia. He's like Ukrainian. Got. Released from prison because he's got stage eighty-five fucking stomach cancer or something. And I'm like, he and mm-hmm. Joby went. 
all the hip kids because the yeah. guys from the tragically hip. It took yeah. me a minute to catch on. Yeah. It's got announced brain cancer. All the hip kids are going with Gordon Downey. I'm like, no, I got this fucking guy. <laughs> the one thing that I've noticed is that if you get compassionate release from prison, your you're going to hang number. on for a while. Oh, oh yeah? Because Not this you guy. bullshit your way out of prison. Wouldn't you fucking Three million exaggerate? rubles he had to pay to get compassionate yeah. release. I'm just saying I've, I've, I've got a couple of people on compassionate release, and I've held on to them for two years. So, yeah. <laughs> hey, fucking hey, sh- And shysters. he was getting zero medical attention in prison. So if he's out and he had three million rubles. And what, he lost like 60 pounds or something. He, like, 48 he's, pounds yeah. over the Christmas holidays. 48 pounds. There's a picture of him. You go, all right, that guy ain't faking it. <laughs> is it is it one of those stomach cancers where they poisoned him with some radioactive kernel when he was in prison or something? Like, isn't that, didn't they do that blue. to... Uh, yeah, the, I can't remember oh, That was silver name. poisoning or something. The Ukrainian prime minister... Uh, uh, Yush- Yushchenko. Uh, it was. I, I think it might have been a former KGB guy. I know who you're talking yeah, yeah, about. Yeah, there's. Well, I think we're conflating two different, uh, two different fallacies. All right, conflating <laughs> and fallacies. Wow. Oh, I'm a book writer. I says, use two big words in one sentence. Says the guy who didn't know who he was talking about, but still knew the name Yushchenko. Plutonium. <laughs> it was poisoned with plutonium. Is the uh, in in Netflix. Wyoming. Yes. <laughs> is that a, in Central America. Is there bonus points for that? The callback. Hey, win next year. You can make one. I can't win because of fucking Carlos Valencia. Did, did you get the book? I got oh, he's finding I got them both. All right. Uh, Betty, if you have to leave, tell us. We'll take yeah, a book. I'm bo- trying to check that. I think I we, we, we can do you anytime. Yeah, I think we can. <laughs> <laughs> Giggity. I, I can I can sign a book in the middle of a podcast. Doug, the, the, it's a good <laughs> time to say that you happened could, to that girl in Orlando. Yeah. You know the the forgotten the Orlando victim. There was it was a uh, uh, these thing the, these things come in threes. She was like the lookout. She was a a, a singer from The Voice. Went out after a gig to sign autographs. She was a, ahead of her shot time. And stabbed to death by a fan. Not in a database, by the way. And then, and then, completely unforeseeable. As as soon as that, oh, we're gonna have a memorial and we're gonna have a vigil. Nope. And then, oh no, someone killed forty nine people two days later. And then an alligator ate a baby. So no one remembers that girl. I I just want to bring up since you brought it up that in the beginning we talked about this and they said it was fifty people. And then I found out that they counted himself. You can't count yourself. That's bullshit. As the body. Well, count. he wasn't yeah, the guy yeah. reporting. Yeah, he was number fifty. That's you can't count the fiftieth guy. You can't count yourself. And then I've since read reports that uh, the cops may have some of those people may be collateral damage from the cops' crossfire. So his kill count is going down. So his 49 is getting lower. I'm just bringing it up because... Well, it's like it's like hockey. If you score on yourself, it still counts. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> hockey is a game we play in my country, Hockey Chad. is not the same thing <laughs> as mass murder. It's a game I play. Let me tell you how. I don't even... Th- he targeted a group of people who are not going to fight back, which is what a lot of these fucking people do. And I don't think that's fair. Your your kill count should not count if you target a group of people that can't fight back. Andy Andrews used to have a bit about, hey, if you want to get high score in mass murders, why don't you do uh, old folks' homes? You don't even have to have a gun. You just push them down the stairs. <laughs> just wait. That, <laughs> it, it, there, there were more jokes to it. If, <laughs> if I get, That's the premise. If I can get 30 at an NRA meeting or a gun show... That counts double. That's where people can <laughs> fire back. Yeah. Well, that's Chad, Chad had this beautiful. He goes, you know what? If I go on a mass murder spree, I'm gonna just start screaming. I I got it through a loophole at a fucking gun show. Well, just, <laughs> just for my political, you know, friends. Yeah, I want to help get, them out, yeah, balance shut, it out. It's a horrible thing, but there's a cause to just, it. If you're, so if you're gonna be a school shooter, it's gotta be at like a school for target practice. Well. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, don't be a school <laughs> shooter where there's children. I mean, they, they can't mm. fight back. That's hardly victims. What about uh, drunk driving school? <laughs> <laughs> Chad's puzzled by that one. No, I'm still, you're still. No, I get it. I get you're it. You're still I mean, targeting people who can't fight back. You're yeah. targeting people who have no, 
if you target an NRA meeting or a gun show, these people are oh, expecting right. this and it's what they want to happen. So you can expect some fire back immediately. And Which I think that's the only get. way, to, that's the only way to get any credibility at this point. Because no, it's like, it's like when, uh, when ISIS, uh, declared war on Russia. Do you guys remember this? So I, I feel like it was like uh, we'll pretend to once a, you start talking about a, it a year ago, and then and then Putin was just like, "All right, fuck you." And they it, it, there was like a, a huge assault by Russians in oh my god Wyoming. <laughs> I don't know in one of those fucking <laughs> one of those end of the earth wasteland places. We'll say it was Wyoming. I don't know. We'll uh, we'll get we'll have the uh, yeah. It, uh, was it Syria? We'll have the uh, the Bisbee fact checking, the drunk fact checking team. We'll get our crack you research got, team. You on got that. thirty seconds into your story and then didn't know any facts. I. <laughs> you, was, you keep this going. When I'm reading that the book, the, that means you getting carry, grilled by Chad the librarian. Was, I'm just saying there was no. I still believe an NRA Wait. rally or a gun show would be the place. You, you'd get more credibility. I was agreeing with you. I just didn't have oh, any. Oh, I, any... I, didn't, I didn't realize that because I'm drunk. <laughs> so now you're going to let me, and let I'm, me coast. <laughs> and, I'm, and I'm confrontational, and I automatically think people are disagreeing with me. <laughs> like, Fuck you. You're right. You've, yeah. <laughs> no, no. Hang on. I, Go ahead. You keep talking. I, I don't just, have anything else to talk I about. Just started let, me reading, see, let me see the book. Okay. I just started reading yeah, the book. You, That's the only the part. Right. portion that I found with Doug we'll talking We'll talk to about. Joby for a second while right. he finds the part about I allegedly fired him for being too much of a drunk. But Joby's plausible. here. I, I didn't say I intimated. Joby's mom still on the brink of uh, whatever. Every time we see Joby, you're like, is she dead? <laughs> you just show up out of nowhere. We always expect the worst, but you're here for a while. You're here for Fourth yeah, of there July. Was, uh, Is yeah. anyone else coming out that you know of? Hack or anyone? Uh, no, no, I, I I don't know of anybody. Uh, but I'll, I'll probably be heading back to England for a couple of weeks. Go see him at the end no of the shit. year. Yeah, just to get no out of the country. It's the only way I can take a break from family. So. Yeah, I gotta leave get out the, the country. country. Yeah, fucking but, uh, family. Yeah, today is the one year anniversary of, of Amy dying. So it's been a year. Your sister. Yeah. So there's yeah, a lot right. of Amy's. Mm -hmm. There was Whiskey Today. Girl Amy. <laughs> wow. A lot of dead Bingo's Amy's. Bingo's dead. I, yeah. Oh, did we mention that? No, <laughs> Bingo's not really dead. Uh, but after last night, we should have killed ourselves. Uh, <laughs> See, I hadn't planned it around, and then uh, Mishka called me up and said, yeah, I think I'm going to Bisbee yeah, around 21st, 22nd. I was like, Doug invited me to come down for two weeks. Let's do this. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. You invited yourself, and I said, absolutely, as long as you like. We'll just have to move you around to different houses. Hennigan's coming down for uh, Saturday through Wednesday. Got, so he has to have like the cold. guest house because no one wants to be around him. He sleeps naked with his giant fucking uncut Scotsman cock and just walks Ugh. around. Yeah, you get, you, you get a private house. You get the... Mishka's so okay in the blue room. He so that's all I have to do. He sleeps with his nematode, like laying all over the sheets. <laughs> really? <laughs> I sleep in that bed. Ew. <laughs> oh, don't worry. We change the sheets regularly. That's that's a fucking blatant lie, sir. <laughs> that's why I that that's why I meet it out regularly. Or someone does. I'm guessing. Someone does. Someone does. I don't know. I've never. I, I don't go in that house. Oh, so always... I have to take a dump that's really loud, and that's why you're sleeping in the blue room, is because you're a road person, and a loud dump, a, just a terrifying graphic, the... windy, meaty, wet dump, is not going to disturb you at all. Like like dropping a uh, a plate of uh, spaghetti bolognese into a industrial fan. <laughs> I, I was, I was like See, having these are the <laughs> lyrics you will read in Mishka Shabali's book. I was, I swear I'll make it up to you. Available now on Amazon, oh, or I, I fucking or available at. Oh wait, yeah, signed, yeah, signed you have copies. Signed copies. We sell your book, and Assface over here didn't even tell me that until well, the break. We're kind of in, we're kind of in a promo push for your book right now, <laughs> Doug. <laughs> That's we sell a lot of people's shit. Who's behind still, your business acumen? We sell Jeff Tate still. We sell Mishka Shibali CDs. Do we sell the Matoid? No, we do not. We should. We we push the Matoid heavily. We should have a 
We should have a store. There should be a merch button on my website. Oh, wow. <laughs> what about oh, a storefront? Idea. There is. What I'll about a storefront? I'll talk to your web guy about that. Yeah, and a place <laughs> to store all the, the merch. That's a good idea, too. We'll talk you to your it? business manager. All right. Are you guys? Do you want to take a break and jive what we're going to do here? Yeah, I got to go outside like, anyway. I'll yeah. see you guys in a Let's, minute. All right. <laughs> all right, we won't take a real break. What we're going to do is pause and then come back. We can pause. Th- wait, no, we have a commercial from my book, right? Because we got to push yeah. my book, and we'll push Mishka Shabali's book. I swear I'll make it up to you. Both available on Amazon. And the day I called you is because it was the day my publisher called me and went. Have you seen the Amazon rankings? Yeah, I, that was. You're at 57. We're happy if we break 10,000, including Christopher Hitchens. We've never hit above 90. You're at 57. Keep, and it, keep going, Doug. Keep well, going. No, no, no. I called you to give you shit <laughs> to make you feel really bad about yourself. It worked. Well, what I didn't know is they change hourly, and it was only at 57 because we put out the email blast, and within it peaked. hours, we're fucking 100, 300, 800, now we're at like 1,500. So, yeah, I called you not knowing that my dreams were about to be shattered <laughs> on an away. hourly basis. <laughs> So yeah, I was I was gonna call you the next day and be like, oh, what's the number now? But because you looked it up and went, ha <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But I was like, don't fucking do that. <laughs> yeah, I didn't I didn't know how that shit worked, but who cares? <clears throat> when now, we uh, when we when we come back from this commercial break, I will read the original uh, blurb that Doug gave me that we had to uh, edit down because. <laughs> You remember oh, the original blurb? You, you have it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have it. I have it on my email somewhere. Perfect. Right, so we'll, we'll, we'll be right I'm, back. I'm gonna read through this. We'll be we'll be right back. We'll do some dumb fake commercial or some shit, and then we'll be right back. That's right. Digging up mother is on audible.com. Audible.com for all your audio book needs. Uh, if you spend any time whatsoever in traffic, get audiobooks. They will change the world for you. And if you've listened to Digging Up Mother with myself and Chad Shank uh, doing the reading, and you want to give me shit about how much I suck worse than Chad Shank, do that, but make sure you include at audible.com in the tweet so Audible knows that you want more Chad Shank reading books. Because uh, I think he's uh, launching a new career. So when you give me shit <laughs> and congratulate Chad Shank in a tweet, make oh. sure you add at audible.com. I-, I would appreciate that. I've been reading all of the uh, reviews on Audible. So a couple of people have been very nice to me. So uh, thanks. <laughs> to people that was, yeah, maybe I'll read more books. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, yeah, that's our commercial, audible.com. And they have other shit, too. They probably have a, a, other books that they have out. Or is it just my book? It's just yours? <laughs> just mine. <laughs> Flagship book. Audible.com for all your audio book needs. And we're back. How was that three-hour break? Oh, we didn't do that in real time? Mishka Shibali is here. You know this story, Chad Shank. Uh, but Mishka, in one of your uh, uh, poorly attended book signings. <laughs> Self-admitted. <laughs> in Chicago. Uh, brutal. Did, did Junior Stopka show up in Chicago? No. Oh, what a dick. I, uh, what a uh, fucking dick. Fuck that dick. I. Um, did you send a town car? I think... <laughs> Yeah, I think I think he forgot his amp. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, so uh, tell me, to, I mean, to be fair, I didn't I didn't tweet him or I didn't reach out to him. I uh, I mean, when you're on the road, it's it's like, oh, I, I'm in another town. You forget all the fucking people who live there. You're supposed to reach out to. But, yeah, you never um, forget me. Hey, can uh, you retweet this? I'm gonna stay with you till the seventh. <laughs> <laughs> in your bedroom. <laughs> I uh, no, it was it was a show in Chicago, and um, I mean, we like we've been out for. A while by this point and fucking you know shit's getting a little 
I'm you're touring testy. and book signings. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm touring shows. and doing book signings. It's uh, you know we left uh, March 30th, so I've probably been out for 35 days now without a break, with like you know probably two days off. Right. And um, so we're we're playing the show, and I'm up, and I'm I'm like maybe I think I'm playing Gideon's Bible. I'm like uh, like three songs into my set, and this dude comes up, and they they have uh, peanuts in the shell. And they, uh, so he puts two peanuts like right in front of my shoes and then like goes and walks away. Like and you're I, playing for peanuts? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Is that, is that yeah. That's how and I would have interpreted exactly. it. And so we, when I, I, I just looked at him and I was like, you know, and so I finished the song and I was like, oh, Kenny yeah. Kenny would have said, free peanuts. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. I, uh, you know, I'm used to playing for peanuts, but it's not, you know, usually literally peanuts. You said this out loud. Yeah. On the mic. And uh, I said, you know, and the, the guy was, he had like a plaid flannel shirt and overalls, you know. So I said, I'd like to thank, you know, uh, JB's big boy for their charitable ah, donation. Nice. You know, and I saw his head sort of like turn a little bit. And I was like, you know, seriously, dude, are you a model for Oshkosh Bagosh or, <laughs> Just, you know. And then he was like, fuck you, man. This is what the working class looks like. And I was like, you know what, dude? I actually drove all fucking day to come up here and perform a job. For less than the working class. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll bet you anything you made more money last year than I did. And uh, and so I said, uh, eat a dick. This is where his accountant yeah. jumps in. Eat, yeah. a, <laughs> eat yeah. a dick is always a great yeah. move. Yeah. I figured, I figured our that block would... fights my battles, bitch. Start <laughs> off passive aggressive and then escalate to eat a dick right away. I That's figured, how I do it, too. I figured it, that would sort of like, you know, roll it back a bit, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'll fix it. Uh, and, uh, and I saw him uh, come running towards the stage, and I was like, uh, and I, I'm, I'm playing that same guitar that I played in fucking 2008 out in the desert. You know, I mean, I've had that guitar for a while and I was like, this guy's not going to fuck up my guitar. So I had enough time to like take my guitar off, lean it against the, uh, the kick drum. And then there was like a three foot stage. So the minute that he got his foot up on the stage and was like coming up at me when he's at that point of like off the, balance, the least amount of balance. Yeah. I just vulnerable stiff armed him yeah. and we went back over the monitors and fell and broke the head off a uh, like a big upright base. Oh, shit. Not oh, yours. Yeah. Not the mine. The fiddlehead <laughs> part. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. The, the beautifully scrolled and figured wood wow. part of the. the <laughs> there went that priceless. three months. Worth and of I'm going to guarantee that no one was filming. Oh yeah, People nobody was even film watching. Your set and put all your shit on YouTube, but once a fight breaks out, they put their camera away. Go, this is the shit I need. So how the that's how'd a the second fight hits. go? The well, guy not, who owned the base, the broken that, that, base. Yeah, that one was actually worse than the first one. No, so I mean, I, I he like the dude caught me once in the side of the head, but I mean, I, I like my arm. I got the fucking long monkey arm, so I just held him away from me. And then waited for security to come and you know the the uh, bar back leapt over the bar, which was great. It was it was beautiful, and, uh, and just she held him. Got him in a full Nelson. <laughs> uh, held him until they like dragged him out, and then I got back up on stage and I said, "Anyone else?" <laughs> because fuck you, like you know what I mean. You fucking come up on the stage. That's like coming behind the bar. You know you're gonna. You're... That was that was always my thing on stage. It was like you could do whatever you want. Don't fucking do anything that like like don't spit on me, don't touch me. Yeah, because that's it. That, yeah. Then that's it's all. Then you've crossed that line. Yeah, and he, and I was I wasn't gonna wait for him to get up on stage and then deal with throwing him because it was gonna happen. Exactly. Yeah. What and happened he, when he paid his cover again and came back in? <laughs> anything? He, uh, he uh, cover. <laughs> it's Mishka. <laughs> oh, that's right. Oh, he was on the list, dude. <laughs> <laughs> My stepbrother's always welcome. <laughs> Wait, that was Junior. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, Mishka will now read from his book the passage about me that I don't remember succinctly, but I know that I had an issue with it. You will refute it much as he will do with your book at another time. Yeah. yeah. We, uh, Chad Shank as referee. <laughs> uh, What's the name of the book, by the way? Oh, this book is called... I had, I had to look at the cover. <laughs> yeah, like, literally, he just flipped to the cover. <laughs> we have a teleprompter for this, right? And, and if you could read the author, it's uh, "I swear I'll make it up to you." A life by on, on the low road. 
Someone, so, someone tweeted, uh, I don't know if you can judge a book by its cover, but if it's yours versus Mishka's, Mishka's is better. <laughs> it's a good cover. It's embossed, by it's, the way. It's one of my, yeah, like a Danielle Steele novel. I like that. <laughs> I, um, so you know it's romance. I don't know who he is. Go ahead. <laughs> Finally, my chaos alienated even Stan Hope. He had been a little thrilled when he found out I was every bit the drunken mess my songs promised. Had that thrill diminished when they held back some of his pay to cover a table I couldn't recall breaking? Or when the club had to call the cops in Portland? Or was that Tacoma? Was it when I had to retain a criminal lawyer? Or was it just the same thing that had plagued me my whole life? That I was almost good enough, but not quite. All right, see, there's a lot of stuff. Wait, there's one more, uh, one okay. more pair. Let read, read, read. Let's, let's, let's go beat by oh, beat. Don't, don't fucking eat my bit. Go dog. ahead. Come on. Go this ahead. Is my tight go closer. Ahead. <laughs> hey, hey, where's your guitar? <laughs> no, no talking between songs, right? Dicks. We always used to give them shit. <laughs> you had fucking Chaley call, call me from Alaska that one time. <laughs> no talking between songs. <sighs> <sighs> After one particularly chaotic trip, the show offers stopped coming. Then Stanhope stopped calling. Then he stopped picking up my calls. Then he had a new opener. The carnival never stopped, but if you were careless, it left town without you. Doug was going on with his life. I was left to deal with mine. The end. Beautifully <laughs> written. Beautifully <laughs> written, but let's go back to the beginning. Poetic. First of all, first of all, Tacoma. Tacoma, I remember yeah. you got uh, some really ugly girl to blow you on a staircase. <laughs> Jazz That's bone, all I remember. Jazz bones? I, I don't remember that at jazz all. Bones. I jazz think bones. what you're thinking of is uh, <laughs> the they truth? had... <laughs> no, they. Uh, you were bragging about getting that blowjob oh, yeah. in a stairwell, and that, but someone who saw who was blowing you. It may have been Hennigan. Jazz, bo- jazz <laughs> by That's the exactly way, what he did when he saw it. <laughs> when you say stairwell, it is Jazz Bones. Jazz yeah. Bones is like three oh, or four I stories. I mean, it is. I remember yeah, where we stood venue. outside to to uh, smoke cigarettes on the third level yeah, of the, a, a fire escape. The green escape. room was yeah, and the and the, and the, it was also the sushi same level as the sushi. Upstairs. Upstairs. The, the stairwell yeah. was out outside. That's what yeah. I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. That's where we went outside where, to smoke. Yeah. All right, go, go back because I, I don't remember. Paying for a broken table. I don't. Well, that was uh, Jazz Bones because they had uh, fucking. Um, I didn't. Re- they had uh, karaoke. Right after. Afterwards. Immediately. Oh my god! Like I bought, hurry like, a, up! I bought a painting off the wall that looked like Tim Burton <laughs> shit, and it. Oh, yeah, it was awful. We gave it away after a while. And uh, <laughs> to to Joby. <laughs> uh, see, <laughs> all these stories are verified. <laughs> <laughs> Still have it. <laughs> Is it that up on be your only contribution you don't have to the a podcast? Yeah. <laughs> um, it, that is one of the walls now. The um, yeah, and there was yeah, no, we did uh, karaoke. There was like karaoke right afterwards after the bar cleared out, and I fucking got shit faced and did like a Springsteen song and stepped on a table and it broke. And, and we uh, had to pay for it. That's well. That's what Walsh told me the next day was that you had gotten a call that there was. You can't trust Walsh. He's fucking with you. We didn't pay for shit. You know what Walsh does? Fucks with you. His entire being is fucking with are you. In are general. you sure <laughs> that general you? Yeah. No. Well, I would fucking Walsh know. Yeah. Um, Walsh wouldn't have had to. Well, no, pay he was for giving him. me shit. Point? I think he was giving yeah. me shit where he was like, "You're out of control, man." <laughs> <laughs> he was like, the you one you were trying to get to kick you in the nuts in Tacoma. Was it Walsh you were, or Bingo? Yes. No, Bingo might have been involved. No, Bingo, because were you kicking them in the you, balls? You. No, I think Walsh would have yeah. kicked me in the balls on my. <laughs> yeah, Bingo was kicking. I think him you. In the balls. I think you stopped Walsh because Walsh was going to do total like foot. Oh the yeah, foot was, was going like, to get up in there and just pancake your nuts. <laughs> like yeah. Yeah. So Walsh mediated like the rules of the kicking because you were very specific. <laughs> but you see in his writing how he makes this very somber. I was out of control. They cut me loose. No, you and Walsh were giddy as fuck, kicking each other in the balls or having <laughs> Bingo kick you in the balls to see who could take it more. You yeah, no, having that, a not no, fun time. No, that night was fucking awesome. And the next morning... I don't know if you've had. I been stopped the calling. <laughs> yeah. He went on with his. The carnival life. went on without me. Oh fuck you all! 
fuck you all. <laughs> How come that music is getting softer? I can't hear it anymore. <laughs> all right, let's get to the criminal attorney part. Uh, hey, uh, let's... Uh, <laughs> All right, well, let's save that for one of the Evergreen podcasts, right? Yeah, All right, is... there we go. All right, so, so the, <laughs> I don't know if you know there what was a criminal means. attorney <laughs> hired for some unknown circumstance that I don't remember specifically. Okay, yeah. All right, um, I, I didn't know about the attorney that you had to hire. But then there was there was also there was was this Spokane? There was a thing where I got into a, like almost got into a fist fight with a couple of frat boys, like. Af- they were fucking we heckling me or Spokane. something. No, we never played no. Spokane. No, but there, and then later oh, we that chumps do Spokane. <laughs> no, later Jesus. that. Uh, but no, I'm trying to remember which place. Olympia it, maybe? was. Uh, no, 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 it was no. or no, it was. Uh, was it Laughs or the Laugh Factory or something? It's, Laughs yeah. and Kirkland? Chili Dogs Club. Kirkland. Uh, maybe, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kirkland. Chili Dogs Club. Yeah, Chili yeah. Dogs Club. Kirkland. <laughs> that's what it was. Kirkland. Yeah. yeah. Spokane. Oh, we get chucked out well, of a motel six there. Yeah, exactly. Jackie Trinka was there. Yeah. So uh, there were these guys who were like fucking heckling me. During Hang on, my is that from this podcast or a previous? But that was the last podcast. Someone said, "How low will you go? Will yeah, you yeah. stay at a Motel Six? I got chucked out of a fu- travel Man. lodge. Travel no, lodge. Wait, no, no, it was it's a, Motel a Motel Six. six. It was a Motel Six. I remember the, I, the I fake hardwood the floor. Got was, banned, yeah. But not only did we get banned. They couldn't book any comedians into that no. hotel because of us. So yeah, that uh, the uh, last podcast. I, I was ready to kick you off the tour after that. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't our fault. <laughs> yeah, that was definitely Something, other people's what happened? problems. Like a bunch of people so from the some show people were, that were there. at the show came by the room and we had the door open and Jackie Trinkle went batshit on him, going, "You Get know the what? The show's yeah. fucking over. Yeah. Leave him the fuck alone. He doesn't need this shit." I'm like Jackie, jeez. <laughs> Sweetest girl in the world, but she she had a couple of beverages and went just apoplectic no, I, all over. I wanted her to go on tour. <laughs> I wanted her with us. She was one hundred percent right. She was security that night. Uh, but no, there was a thing there where the cops got called. Where oh, I, yeah. I fucking got into it with a couple of frat boys who had been heckling me during the, the front my desk. Show. Called the cops. No, no, no! Not before the Motel Six at the fucking uh, at the venue. At, at yeah, at the venue. I don't remember it, yeah, that. Yeah, because there were a bunch that. of like fucking white hat frat boys who got pulled who got pulled out of there that's, by the cops. All right, well, Washington. When you when you say mm. the carnival moved on without oh, me, fuck you. you no, right. it, it, really, no, let's do this. It's All well right. written. We're goofing on you because we know you. When you <laughs> read that, you go, ah, oh, this guy's a great writer. But when we know you, you're like. You, the reason well, I, that, I was working construction in Queens, dude, it was not uh, not that not night. a high point. Not that night. The reason <laughs> no, that that's we what I went stopped to. using you <laughs> is because first of all, we rotate people out all yeah. the time. You hey, you, you no, I, we I work six now. months, and hopefully, you get enough of a fan base to work from that. And stepping stone. The problem, is, same with the matoid, is you both are brilliant musicians but your your lyrics border on comedy so it would confuse the audience where they go he's not that funny you're not really funny he's not being funny his lyrics tilt towards funny but he's a musician yeah. so it would confuse the audience the matoid the same way the party time where's the joke it's not a fucking joke. He's a musician. So I would get so upset mm. at the fucking audience watching the ones that didn't get that you're a brilliant musician because they thought it's a comedy show. So I would go up enraged already. Yeah. No, I, I remember in uh, in Philly, you were fu- the first thing you did oh was come God. out and scream yeah. at everybody. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah I had problems with that. <laughs> you f- Fucking idiots! How <laughs> dare you? I don't. I don't understand that. It was the same we've talked about before with the with the Hedberg tour. It's like, can't you enjoy the fact that these two comedians together are performing? With Stephen Lynch with Lynch. Can't you like? Sometimes Lynch would open. Most of the times, Hedberg would close. But can't you just enjoy? You don't have to yell from the balcony in the middle of Hedberg's setup of a Bring joke. Bring back Stephen no, Lynch. We don't He'd be like, what the? But the, the, the I mean, a television is set up. I've done bits about it where everything has to be a competition. 
You could be all selling merch after a show, three good friends, and then someone comes up, hey, you were pretty good, but you're not as good as that guy. You should be headlining. It's not a fucking competition, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. and yeah. we hate you more than <laughs> anyone, you fucking asshole audience member. We tour together for a reason because we're friends. So, uh, <laughs> by the way, that's in the book. <laughs> Did I miss anything in that passage? What was after the? Uh, there was a, a fight, the, the uh, unspeakable uh, girl, an attorney. And then the carnival moved on without me. <laughs> Sorry. Signed, <laughs> Mary Poppins. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything that you you wanted to write that? Like later, you thought you should have written in the book. Um, yeah, I mean there there was a lot of I mean there's a lot of shit that w- that wound up in like Kindle singles or articles I wrote or stuff like that where because of the word count, like this book was far longer than it was supposed to be anyway. I remember that when and, you're uh, writing it, you hit a point. Yeah, that it was, you're it was like, supposed to be. Fuck! I still I'm not done. Yeah, yeah. No, it was supposed to be eighty thousand words. This is one hundred twenty thousand words, and I had one hundred and. 160,000 words or 180,000 words. That's like Nevada. Well, that's what happens when you get sober. You get a lot of free <laughs> time what, to add extra words. That's what happens when you can remember I, shit, Doug. Yeah, I was drunk. <laughs> I fucking barely hit 110. It's like Nirvana putting all pictures. those singles on Nevermind. What the fuck? This is three albums worth. What are you, what are you doing? <laughs> stretch it. Stretch it. <clears throat> uh, this, uh, the, uh, do you remember your working title for my memoir? No. Your when I told you I was writing a memoir, your your, your suggested title was uh, "I'm only thirty, or I'm a stupid faggot who's only half lived his life. I don't deserve to write a memoir." <laughs> <laughs> so thanks for the encouragement, pal. <laughs> I, I would have bought that book. <laughs> I think I bought the website. <laughs> the <laughs> URL. Yeah. <laughs> Fool for a client <laughs> You All write, right. Well, uh, but didn't you guys start writing the book at about the same time? No, or, or his was. Mishka I, started. I read his that? when I was writing mine. Right. I, I read Kreischer's, Artie Lang's Crash and Burn. Uh, I, I read like four different ones. One, couple of rock and roll guys. Ministry uh, was great. I think I read that Ow. before. The guy that the uh, uh, Lamb of God. Ex- yeah. Yeah. yeah, oh, yeah Lamb of God. Great. Yeah. Yeah, just I, you know anything think, to inspire me. I think Mishka started writing his book, or you were in the middle of writing your book when you did the Thirty Days in the Hole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that All was right. the time yeah. because no, I, actually, we were, I read yours after I wrote mine. So yeah, uh, it was yeah, it was crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, during uh, you, you want to hear the original blurb that Doug wrote for the of book? Of course I that, do. Uh, this is so we had to we had to tighten it up a little bit. I'm sorry, we're out of time. <laughs> We've got to go to commercial break. <laughs> I'm glad you kept this on your cell phone. <laughs> I it's in my fucking my what's fu- what's the date on this? How long did you keep this? Just it's in my fuck fucking Gmail. It keeps everything. Oh, all right. <clears throat> Actually, you don't own it, by the way. If you read the fine print. <laughs> uh, all right. Do I should I, should I do Doug's voice? Should what I do is, what Chad is this? Shank doing read, Hennigan doing Doug's voice? Read this one more time. <laughs> I, I'd like to hear that. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> dee, 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 dee. Uh, this is uh, this is the full text of Doug's um, of Doug's blurb for my book before we uh, edited it, it down to the good bits. Um, I fell in love with Mishka's writing in the opening verse of the first of his songs that I ever heard. The verse was the potato peelings in the sink did not turn into vodka as I had hoped. I don't think a better lyric has ever been scrawled on the back of a cocktail napkin. I was immediately hooked and dove into the rest of his library of music like a giddy teenager with a new pop idol. I remember Every- that night. Bingo, bingo, get in here. Listen to this. <laughs> uh, it's back before Shawnee built all this fucking uh, distractions. We just had that stupid house and uh, a VHS player. So we actually listened to stupid CDs people randomly sent us. Every song leaked brilliance. Mishka's music and lyrics are the definitive soundtrack and narrative for the life of any remorseless, lifelong drunk, which is. Great quote, right? Uh, Among many other things, this book deals with Mishka Shabali's newly found and much needed turn to sobriety. While most will find it inspirational, it's heartbreaking to me. (laughs) I have not and will not read it. (laughs) Straightforward. While I am sure his writing will still live up to the masterful turns of phrase and poetry of his lyrics, the subject is just too dispiriting to me. 
I prefer to remember him in the same glory as when I was first introduced to his music. We all have heroes. I would never want to imagine Tom Waits going to therapy or Bukowski running a 10K. In my, in my heart, Mishka will always be spilled over the bar next to me and playing on the jukebox of my soul. <laughs> pretty good one. That so was my, pretty good. My editor's response to this was, he was like, wow, uh, we've definitely gotten blurbs from people who I'm pretty sure haven't read the book yet, but this is the first blurb we've ever gotten where the guy brags about not having read a fucking word I, uh, and uh, swears he won't Where's read any of it. I'll just read the one sentence from Louis C.K. From who? Yeah, yeah. Louis C.K. I'll just the sentence that's yeah. uh, appropriate. Uh, blah blah blah. I'm never gonna read his book because I'm too self-absorbed. <laughs> <laughs> that's Louis. But you should <laughs> self-absorbed. The rest of it's nice. Yeah. But yeah, he, I get the same one from Louis C.K. Yeah. Good. Uh, so uh, you're gonna be here for like. It'll uh, feel like an eternity. What, what do they call that? Uh, a residency. <laughs> Mishka's doing a residency here in Bisbee. We're going to close out on the police beat so we can get drunk like normal human beings, except for Mishka, who will just sit there and take notes of all the things we said when we were drunk, and he'll remember them. I wish he was in the carnival. <laughs> Chad Shank, what's going on on the mean streets of Bisbee? Joby's back in town. He needs to know what streets to avoid. Besides the bad my neighborhoods. Own. Besides my Be own. Coach East Row. He's on the worst of them. Doug a We don't have MLK Boulevard. We have Coach East Row. We do have Campbell Avenue. Uh -oh. And a caller uh -oh. advised he had been told that someone shot his chickens on Campbell Avenue. Is that a euphemism? <laughs> Chicken lives matter! I don't know. <laughs> yep. This shit happens all the time, and they call 911. Did they eat the chickens? We have no follow-up. Still up for grabs. Delicious chicken. That's the next day. <laughs> Street someone chicken. Street someone chicken. called in and said we had delicious, <laughs> organic, free-range fried chicken. Go ahead, Chad. I'm sorry. I, I, I made light of a serious situation. I, that's all right, Doug. I'll, I'll make light of a serious situation as well. I, I'm not sure if you and Chris O'Connor were in town during this time, but a pickup oh. was egged on Tenor Avenue. <laughs> Extra patrol was requested. <laughs> we're scared. Send more cops. When Chris O'Connor, who's in the book, my 13-year-old friend, Oki, we were juvenile delinquents. He came to town, happened... Officer Bob Friendly was here that night, and I said, listen, this is my juvenile delinquent friend. At some point, we're going to have to egg a car for the good old days. So when you get that call, just know it was us. <laughs> we never get around to egging a car, but that made the police beat that week. And I had to call him up. I go, it wasn't us. <laughs> we forgot. <laughs> we forgot. <laughs> go ahead, Chad Shag. A female subject with no shoes was stumbling in and out of the road on Tombstone Canyon. Shoe the people living in the streets. <laughs> oh, oh, there's a solution. That's bingo, dude. That's <laughs> yeah. Footloose and Fancy Free. Footloose We're a goddamn free. smash tandem singing duo. <laughs> All right, what else you got, Chad? Chad, that was a... Shameless plug for me and Bingo's new Carpenters style band of the new of the nineties. We're the Carpenters of the nineties. What did you say on the podcast? You said uh, "Sunny and Cher without the tree," <laughs> and the Botox, <laughs> <laughs> or talent, and the Botox, yeah. and the talent. <laughs> How, I I feel insulted. Me too. You should. <laughs> so do we. <laughs> Good. I hope you get shot out there. What street are you on now, Chad? Uh, <laughs> Doug, closer to home and something you actually should be concerned about. A drug needle was found at the Warren Ballpark. Oh, that's right down the street, and I need a needle. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought Is that there was a lost and found I can <laughs> pick that up at? <laughs> It, isn't that one of the other uh, the local teams, the Saguaro drug needles? 
<laughs> that was for you, Dad. Was, I, I, I <laughs> minor league, close, close enough. Minor league close enough. Yeah. What do you got, Chad? A plane flies over the caller's house in double adobe. At the same time, she also receives a phone call. She believes she's being watched. We got our, yeah, well, let's watch her. <laughs> Why do. make her feel paranoid when we can make her right? <laughs> you do have a plane that does flyovers in business. We do, yeah, yeah. I, That's I forget a stand our, I, 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 for, I, I forget it. I, sorry, I forget the pilot's name, but yeah, we, we do. We have a flyover guy. Uh, yeah. Uh, but that's probably not him. He doesn't call. <laughs> no, we can see her from here. Yeah, Up on top. We're watching you, lady. <laughs> We're watching you. The calls are coming from inside the house. <laughs> the plane is coming from inside the house. <laughs> All right, what else do you got, Chad? Doug, in a uh, reference back to a previous police beat, a stray black pit bull on the porch trapped a Bisbee resident in her house. Yeah, that was la the last uh, yeah, the last podcast we did. There was a uh, a, a pit bull that like, holding that kept guests for an hour. hostage. The only thing hour. I recall with the porch was you having a hard-on on the porch. Was that... Uh, that wasn't me. Did that, that was, make the police beat? That was a way earlier podcast and I made sure that did not make Jenny, the police say beat. Nothing. <laughs> You're not under uh, oath. You don't have to say a word. I'm on 2CB, I do still have some 2CB, so stay tuned for future stories. Tarzan 2, the return. Boner on the roof. Boner 2. Boner police. The revenge. <laughs> what, 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 what? We got more? Because... How much crime can 5,000 people make? Maybe more. <laughs> a double adobe woman advised of UDAs at her front door. Undocumented aliens, uh, you call them illegals. Correct, sir. She was unsure of their gender or number. <laughs> like, number is in how many or the Quantity. one she thought they must have... Tattooed on their arms like I, Jews in a Trump world. I, I, a I understood it I, since it says yeah. she was unsure of their gender or number. I assume she was trying to figure out which bathroom they wanted to use and for what purpose. Hey, what's your number? Number one or number two? Cinco or dos? Oh, no, wait, it's uno or dos. Sorry. That, that I would, don't know my Spanish very well. That would reduce the line to each of the portals. You, you so. go to the non-Spanish speaking bathroom. To be fair, I've taken... To be fair, I've taken a Cinco here a lot of times. <laughs> no El Baño for you. <laughs> I thought that was in the parking lot. All five. <laughs> All right. Uh, one more? We've got one more. Chad Shank, wrap this up. Uh, uh, hopefully something that doesn't instill fear in the hearts of Bisbee residents. Doug, finally... Extra patrol was requested on Hazard Street. That uh, that's uh, somewhere we know. Home to one of our quiet homes. I'm, that's uh, it. All right, no, I'm. Uh, that's it. That's it. That was the only. Well, that's that, what I wrote down. We picked that, another one. That, that, that was the money shot. No, I, no that I, no. You like... did instill. You didn't just instill fear into the the populace of the Warren District of Bisbee. That that comes. Close to home, yeah. Because I have a home on Hazard. I thought maybe you requested the extra patrol. I was trying to fish. I think for we a should do it. Story. I think we should get out there and patrol it ourselves. Fucking neighborhood watch. The hard hitting of Club investigative up. journalism of Chad Shane. We got uh, Brandon. Is that your name? Yeah, I'll take Brandon. Yep, <laughs> Brandon. Yeah, we 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 we, we, we uh, anyway. That's too much to get into. Yeah. We close strong. Listen, if you're in the Bisbee area in the Warren District and you're on hazard, keep an eye out because some there's there's fucked up shit going on. If Why else would they call the police? If you see something, say, say something. something. No, no, call the police beat where they do nothing about it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's a Can podcast. I Joby is here. Joby is at. 
Stanhope at Stanhope CDP Celebrity Death Pool CDP Mishka Shibali is at Mishka Shibali Mishka M I S H K A Shubali S H U B A L Y If you listen to the podcast and you don't know that already fuck you <laughs> fuck you Not his real name by the Chad way Chad Shank is at Fuck you. What are you going to do about it? Dot com. <laughs> He's at HD fatty as in Harley Davidson fatty with a Y, not an I E. Greg Chaley at Greg Chaley, C H A I L L E. I'm at Doug Stanhope. Please pick up the book from our store. Signed, signed, copy. signed copy by Mishka Shibali. I swear I'll make it up to you. And uh, buy my book too while you're at it. It's, uh, hey, check the cover. Digging up, mother. Signed? Signed. Signed, uh, yeah. Oh, and can we, uh, can we outro to a, so- a uh, Star oh, wait, wait. song? Oh, that's right. Uh, Mishka's going to play us out live, so. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, or or we'll, somewhat. We'll, 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 we'll pause, but you'll never hear it, because I cut this part out. So, suit up. Oh, boy. All right. What? Uh, I'll, I'll dim the lights and everything. I don't have a Make guitar a here. I didn't bring a guitar not, with me. Who, not who would, a, uh, who a guitar would, on stage. Who would right. you have play us out if you couldn't play us out live, Mr. I, I would play a Star Anna song on the pod. And what's the song? Uh, the song is... Uh, oh, wow. That's my favorite song. Is, uh, Fantastic. The song is For Anyone by Star Anna. So let's do this. Say, hey, thanks for listening. And then introduce thanks. the song. All right, ready? Hey, Mishka. How are we going to close this out? Uh, we're going to close out the Doug Stanhope Shot Clog Podcast. No, no we that. dumped that. We just went ah. back to Doug Stanhope Podcast. Big ah. fan. Big fan, Mr. Stanhope. I, big I just, fan. I just got the Shot Clog tattoo. Keep him. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we changed it. Uh, closing it's out. not the worst one on your body. <laughs> <laughs> closing out the Doug Stanhope Podcast. Here is Star Anna off her record, Go to Hell. This song is for anyone.
Ooh, 